Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and today I'm going to be showing you book haul part 3 for May and June and July. The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. Alex Kraft knows how to kill someone and she doesn't feel bad about it. Three years ago, when her older sister, Anna, was murdered and the killer walked free, Alex uncaged the language she knows best, the language of violence. While her own crime goes unpunished, Alex knows she can't be trusted among other people. Hair. Not with Jack, the star athlete who really wants to know her but still feels guilty over the role he played the night Anna's body was discovered, and not with PK, the preacher's kid with a defiant streak who befriends Alex while they volunteer at the animal shelter. Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is the story of how my best friend disappeared, how nobody knows she was going to accept me, and now how nobody cared until they found her one year later. This is a book that jumps around in time, which I didn't realize before I bought it. And normally that annoys me, but I think this will be good. I think this will be an exception. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the, I believe, the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell have arrived in America, a bold brash land bursting with life. But like their beloved London, the city of Chicago has dark secrets. When the two attend the spectacular World's Fair, they uncover a sneaking truth. The once-in-a-lifetime event is tainted with reports of missing people and unsolved murders. Basically, they investigate serial killers throughout the whole series. Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn. I believe this is a Jane Eyre retelling. It involves, it's a sci-fi book, and then it involves space and romance. And Stella Ainsley leaves poverty behind when she quits her engineering job aboard the stalwart to become a governess on a private ship. On the Rochester, there's no water ration. More books than one person could devour in a lifetime and an A1 who seems more friend than robot. But no one warns Stella that the ship seems to be haunted, nor that may be involved in a conspiracy that could topple the entire interstellar fleet. How many books was that? Four. Hacking a Harbor by Robin Wasserman. The Hack. To get one dead beat, fully unqualified slacker into the most prestigious school in the country. The Crew. Eric Roth, the good guy, the voice of reason. Max Kim, the player who made the bet in the first place. Schwartz, the kid genius already on the inside of Harvard, that is. Lex, the Lomas perfect valedictorian who insists on getting in the game. The plan. Use only the most undetectable schemes and techno brilliant skills. Don't break the hacker's code. Don't get distracted. Don't get caught. Down someone who deserves it. The stakes. A lot higher than they think. Unraveling Isabel by Eileen Cook. Isabel's life is falling apart. Her mom just married some guy she met on the internet only three months before, 
and is moving them to a sprawling gothic mansion off the coast of nowhere. That sounds like a song, Coast of Nowhere. Goodbye, best friend. Goodbye, social life. Hello, icky new stepfather. Crunchy granola town. An unbelievably good looking, officially off limits stepbrother. Girl made of stars. I've already read this one. This is about a girl whose brother has raped a girl. And. Well, drama ensues. The girl, the main character, is bisexual. And she was also a victim of rape, but her family doesn't know it. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. This is about a girl who was born with wings. Foolish love appears to be the real family birthright, which cap synonymous fate for its most recent progeny. 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 I can never pronounce it right. P-R-O-G-E-N-Y. Twins Ava and Henry Lavender. Henry is mute for much of his young life, and Ava, and all the other ways a normal girl, is born with the wings of a bird. Naked 76. This by Kevin Brooks. Kevin Brooks is one of my all-time favorite authors. I'm currently reading his book, Bo I Boy. Um, I think I will include that book in my next video. This I bought from a library who didn't want it anymore. When you buy books online, you can get a lot of books that libraries don't want anymore. Breaking Point by Alex Glenn. I read this a long time ago, and I decided to get it because it was one, because it, I wouldn't say it was one of my all-time favorites, but it really hit me hard. Half Bad by Sally Green. Half Wild, the second book in the series, and Half Lost, the third book in the series. I won't go into too much detail about those books because of how popular it is. The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. The Reckoning, the second book. And The Awakening, the third book in the series. This is about a girl who is a necromancer. Um, so basically, I think it's sh she can talk to the dead. And next is The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, the second book in the archive duology. I already own the first book. And I forgot to get the second book, so I decided to go ahead and get the second book. And the Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is a fantasy series about, well, a girl who needs to become queen. She needs to overthrow the evil queen so she can take her place on the throne. Anyways, those are, that's my book haul part three for May, June, July. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.